Now, let's have a look at Bloom's taxonomy. Now, taxonomy basically means classification. Now, in 1953, a group of individuals, a group of educators sat together, formed a committee and whereas Benjamin Bloom was the head of the committee, what they did is they sat together and classified learning in three different aspects, cognitive, affective and sensory. Now, out of these three domains, we are just concerned with the cognitive domain. Now, let's have a look at what is cognitive domain. In cognitive domain, they classified learning in six different stages. How an individual learns a subject, how an individual learns anything about what his subject of interest is. The, this is based on all these three steps. Okay? We'll start from the bottom step. First one is the knowledge. What an individual does first is, is gains knowledge. Like you, uh, if you want to learn psychology, what you do is you collect all the data first, right? You just uh, remember it, the data. You collect all the notes which we have, okay, online PDFs or whatever we have. So that is what is uh, that is what is knowledge means, okay? Gain the knowledge and remember it. Then comes the comprehend. Now this is an important stage because now here you understand the meaning of the data which you have collected. Once you understand the meaning, you are able to relate the data to each other. So that is important for the next step. That is apply. Now, what is apply means, the data which you have comprehended, we understand the meaning of it. We will now be able to put them together in a particular order. So one can use the data whenever required. For example, in a situation, we don't need to apply the complete set of data all the time. If some problem arises, we just need some amount of data which can be used to solve the problem. We don't have to apply the whole lot of knowledge which we have to solve the problem. So that is what is apply means. We don't need to use all the data all the time to solve a problem. Okay. Once you've done that, the next step is analyze. Now analyze basically means uh, the data which you have used to solve the problem in the previous step does that actually work or I need to use the another set of data? So that basically is a trial and error method. If this data doesn't work, if some kind of data doesn't work to solve the problem, I need to use a second set of data which you have already comprehended. right? So that is what does analyze means. Analyze means the data which I use to solve the problem, is it right or is it wrong? Or I need, to set, or I need another set of data to be used. That does analyze mean. And once you have analyzed it, then we come to synthesize. Synthesize means once you have done analyzing, now you need to put in particular order to synthesize. Means uh, problem 1 has this solution, problem 2 has this solution, problem 3 has this solution. So we get a complete textbook of what is to be done to solve the problem. That is synthesize. The main thing of the learning objective is done in synthesizing. Once you have synthesized it, you reach the highest level that is evaluating. Once you have done evaluating, evaluating means you need to justify your actions. If anyone asks you how does problem one has this solution, you need to able you should be able to justify your action. Yes, why this answer goes with this? Why this answer goes with the second problem and so on. So that is what is evaluating means. And once you have done evaluating, you are an expert in a particular subject. So that is Bloom's taxonomy.